Look at those. Don't those look pretty? Hey everybody. All right, so I am in the kitchen getting ready to cook some dinner and I am making one of our taste buds recipes, making smothered pork chops. Mm-hmm, doesn't that look good? Now this is a um, recipe from November 2023's um, Taste Buds subscription. And with this comes the um, spice that I'm gonna use for this recipe, which happens to be the thyme and onion. So you'll get the um, packet of seasoning along with the recipes and different um, alternatives um, that you might choose to use. Now, all of our taste buds recipes are all adjustable. You just make them how you want them and add, if you don't like something in it, take it out. If you want to add something, add it. So what I'm doing today is my recipe does not call for mushrooms. Well, we're mushroom fans. So I've already washed um, some mushrooms and I'm going to add mushrooms to my gravy. And uh, so the recipe, also the spice that I'm, I'm using, the thyme and onion spice, I am going to use um, some um, thyme and onion that I had from another recipe before. And what I do is I just open, when I open them, I just put them in a jar and I just use up the jar first before I open up the new packet. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, recipe calls for some flour. I got my flour here, my salt and black pepper, um, pork chops, which are still in the refrigerator. I'll get those out in a minute. Some um, oil, and I'm going to use olive oil and that's just to pan fry the pork chops. And the gravy, it calls for butter, um, diced onion, which I've got my onion here, garlic, pressed garlic. I don't have any garlic. I went to the store and I forgot garlic. So I am going to use, don't, don't kill me now. I'm using the minced garlic today because, well, that's what I have and we want the garlic. I'm also going to use some garlic pepper because I got to use pepper and I want to add some more garlic. So I'm going to use some of that as well. And I'm gonna throw some smoky paprika in on the flour too, cause I just like it. So it calls for two cups of the low sodium chicken broth. Well, I don't have any of the low sodium chicken broth. I'm going to use this. I'm gonna make my own broth. Now this has got a higher content of salt. So if salt's an issue, you know, scale back on it, scale back on it. And I will not add in, add any extra salt to it because there's plenty of salt in here and I'll taste it before I decide if I want to add a little bit in there. And then um, some heavy cream, which is in the refrigerator still. And then some more of my um, thyme and onion. All right, so anyway, I've got my mushrooms over there and I've already washed them. They're, they're dried, I'm going to slice them up. I'm gonna get chopping on my onions and um, get everything going. So let's get cooking. Okay, so for our side, I'm going to make some broccoli florets. So I'm just going to roast, roast them, a little salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, olive oil, mix it, and I'm going to cook it on my medium um, bar pan, stone bar pan in the oven, and um, that's what we're having for a side. Okay. 
Okay, so the broccoli, I just got it today. It's not good. So I'm gonna move on to something else. <laughs> That's just the way it is. I did a pickup today and that was probably my own fault. But it just has a smell. When I can smell it like that, and there's too many pieces in it that are not not good, so I'm not cooking it. Anyway, I'll find another vegetable to make. <laughs> look at those. Don't those look pretty? Okay, so I'm getting ready to take the pork chops out of the pan. It says to cook them for a couple minutes, I think three minutes on each side. They're not gonna be cooked, but I'm gonna make the gravy and then they're gonna cook the rest of the time in the gravy. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna remove them from the pan and I am going to, let's bring you down. Remove them from the pan. They smell so, so good. And I'm gonna just set them here on the plate and then make the gravy. Okay, so now I'm gonna start on the gravy. So it calls for two, you leave the grease that's already in here and two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna saute this just for a couple of minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna add my one onion and I, I chopped them in the manual food processor. This is one of my most favorite things, this manual food processor. I absolutely love this processor. It's amazing. And you have complete control how, how coarse or how fine you want your onions diced. great for guacamole, salsa, um, pico, whatever. Now I do have, this is a piece of the skin, kind of a tough piece, but I'm gonna chunk, I'm gonna discard it because that was part of the skin. And we'll let this saute for a couple minutes and then we're gonna add flour to this. Now at this time I would put my garlic, but if you remember, I put my dehydrated garlic in my chicken broth here. And I have not added any extra salt because of the, the salt that is in here. It smells so good in here, guys, look. Look how pretty that looks. Smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Mm. All right. So we're going to let this hang out just for a couple minutes and then I'm going to add the broth and I'm going to start making the gravy. Okay. So I have a couple tablespoons of tablespoon of flour in here. Now I just added it to the flour that was left over. Since I'm cooking this flour, I'm not too concerned about any cross contamination. I'm cooking it. So it's gonna cook in here for a few minutes. Now, if I wasn't gonna cook um, the flour, then I most definitely would not use it at all. Okay, we're gonna let this hang out for just a couple minutes. All right, I'm going to add the chicken broth. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So, so good. And a little more of the 
thyme and onion rub goes in. I'm going to add some black pepper, some more pepper. I dropped something on the floor and I cannot find it. Okay, I'm going to let this hang out until it gets thick and I'll be whisking it as we go. I don't know how I could almost forget the mushrooms, but I'm going to add them in now. <laughs> it's not too late. I was going to saute them with the onions, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna let this hang out a couple more minutes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the cream to this. We got a good, nice boil. And then after this starts to thicken just a little bit, I will add the pork chops to this and then I'll cover it and let it simmer until it's time to eat. And then I'm going to mix together, I'm going to cook together some corn and black beans. That's kind of one of the sides that we enjoy. So I'm going to just open them a couple cans since I have no broccoli. Um, I'm going to just cook that and that's what we're going to have for a side. At least it'll be lower in carb. All right, we're gonna let this hang out for a few minutes and then I'm gonna put the pork chops back in. Look at these chops, guys. They're not done, but they sure look amazing and they smell even better. All right. Look at this. It smells so Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the pork chops back in the pan and let them finish cooking. And I am using the five, five, I think it's a five and a half quart Brilliance nonstick. What I like about this, it's got the straight up sides and it's easy to do these types of dishes. Now all this juice that's on this plate, it's going right back in. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on it and let it go. And I'll clean up and then I'll be back. Okay, so I had the pork chops in the gravy with the mushrooms simmering on the stove and I got my vegetables going. And um, I will post a picture of the finished product. Um, and if you see something that you would like um, to get a closer look at or like information on any other products that I use today or any other products, um, please reach out to me. I will have the shopping link in the comments and I will also post um, some links to get a closer look at some of the products that I used in this video today. So go down to the comments and look through the comments and um, like or heart this video. Let me know that you saw it, okay? I don't know if anybody's seen my videos. Um, so um, let me know. Thanks guys.